Okay, in this video, I just want to show uh, you how to light an oxyacetylene torch. Um, so to do that, I want to make sure we've got our safety gear on, got an apron on, got my safety glasses on, and I want to have access to uh, gloves, particularly if I'm going to be handling anything at all with a live oxyacetylene torch. The other thing I'm going to need is a flint lighter. Um, there's no fuel in this, it's just a flint strike and that's it. Um, and I need to make sure I've got the handpiece all connected up. All right, there's my handpiece. I'll have that there ready. First thing I need to do is turn on my oxygen and my acetylene. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just gonna check that both the oxygen and the acetylene are turned off on the handpiece. So unwind that and I can see on the dial that I have acetylene in the tank. Unwind that and I can see on the oxygen, I've got oxygen in the tank. Next thing I'm going to do is wind the regulator in until it's at a level that will cut. We're gonna put it on a cut level, about 250 kilopascals in the blue zone. On the acetylene then, we're gonna wind that in until we're at about 70. That'll do us like that. Um, now that has opened up the main tanks. There's also another section that needs opening. Um, and so over here, to my individual handpiece, I also have a set of taps and a set of regulators. So I want to open up my acetylene. I want to open up my oxygen. And again, I'll wind those regulators. The gas has already been regulated, so it won't matter how much I wind those in. It's not going to obviously be regulated more than what I've done on the main tanks. Now, to light the handpiece, it's important we get the order right. Uh, we have fuel, acetylene, and we have oxygen uh, to, 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 to make that fire light at an even higher temperature. So I cannot ignite oxygen on its own. I need to ignite uh, the fuel source. So I'm just gonna open that up a tiny little bit. That's enough, quarter of a turn. Strike an arc, and I get quite a sooty flame of acetylene coming out. I'm gonna increase that acetylene a little bit more. And then to that acetylene, I'm gonna add oxygen. Being careful just to open that up a little bit until all the soot's gone and I've got a nice white internal flame and a blue outer flame. What I wanna do now is get this torch uh, to what we call a neutral flame, which means I have a very small internal white cone and a large light blue cone. Now that there, there's still not a single cone in the middle. There it is there. I bring it back together and that's what we call a neutral flame. Just a very small center white cone with a blue flame on the outside. The hottest point of the torch will be at the tip of that white cone. Oxyacetylene torches are capable of getting up to 3000 degrees, so we must be very careful when handling in that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is extinguish the, oxyge uh, the, the oxyacetylene torch. I'm going to turn it off and then turn my gases off and bleed my lines. So, the first thing, and I must get this right, I need to turn off the fuel source, not the oxygen source. As I turn that fuel source off, I might just lower my oxygen a bit, wind back the fuel source, and completely turn that fuel source off. Oxygen is now blowing and cleaning out that tip, and finally, I can turn that off. Now, the job's not over yet. I still need to now uh, turn off the tanks, and I need to bleed the lines and make sure the regulators don't have any pressure left on their diaphragms. So, uh, after I've got my handpiece completely extinguished and closed off, I then close off the oxygen bottle, close off the acetylene bottle, so that no more gas can escape from them, and to empty those dials, I'm just gonna place the handpiece out the window so the gas goes outside rather than in here. I'm gonna let all the uh, acetylene out let all the oxygen out. And if I look at my dials, they should all say zero everywhere. Once I've done that, then I'm gonna close off these taps. 
if I get confused about which way is closed, I can just read the tap. And then I'm going to release, uh, turning to the left, lefty loosey, righty tidy. I'm going to release all those regulators as well. So that there's no pressure left on the diaphragms. Put my hand piece down. Making, that tip might be hot, so just be careful. And that's it.